Hey, how you doing? It's your boy the gang to go. Thank you for coming to this video. Now today I've got for you the final part in the 24 hour money making series where I attempt to make as much money as I can from zero GP. This is hour 22, the final part, and we are currently at 9.7, nearly 9.8 mil. And this last part, what I wanted to do is I wanted to do something a little bit different, something which requires some stats and stuff like that to see whether it's worthwhile doing. So as you can see right now, we are doing super glass make, converting giant seaweed into, I don't know why they didn't do that one, giant seaweed into molten glass. So converting these into, into molten glass. Now as you can see what I've got is um, in my inventory I've got 18 buckets of sand and then three giant seaweeds and so far I've been going for around about two minutes. Now originally I did have a slightly different intro but I did muck up this section ever so slightly so I've decided to start again and give you a proper intro into So do me a favour if you like the series, if you like the channel, if you like the video hit the like button. If you want to see some more content, go check out the channel. All the love, all the support is greatly, greatly appreciated. Obviously, what you can see is I go ahead and I am converting three giant CVs into pretty much an inventory worth of molten glass. Now, you actually get more than an inventory's worth. That's why you can see a couple of them drop to the floor. You get an average 1.6 molten glass per giant seaweed, which means if I'm converting three seaweeds and 18 sands, I'm going to be getting 18 times 1.6, but I'm getting a little bit more than that. So what I need to do is every couple of inventories, I'm then just backing out and I am picking up these ones because it's, it's still extra profit, it's still extra money at the end of the day. Now, according to the Old School Rootscape Wikipedia page, you can do around about 600 casts and a cast of this will do a full inventory. And it said that actually you don't need to go ahead and pick up these ones on the floor because you still earn decent money. But I don't want to really want to leave any money on the floor. That's that's my issue. So I'm going to pick them up anyway and we're going to see how we get on with them. Now my clicking isn't fantastic, so I don't expect to do the top bracket. Like I said, about 600, but it sort of estimates that if you are intense at it and you are you know, really, really good at clicking, you could go ahead and do around about a thousand casts per hour, which is going to net you some decent magic experience as well, which is always really, really nice. See, that time we had less. But we are a couple minutes in now. I'm not going to bore you with the rest of the details. We started the video on 9.79, so just shy of 9.8 million. We will see where we get to come the end of this. One hour later. Here we are on the last minute now. And as you can see by what's in the bank, there is no way. I, I don't even see how it is possible to do 600 of these casts in an hour, let alone the top bracket of a thousand that that old school RuneScape Wikipedia page was saying. I mean, every single click would have to be absolutely tick perfect for you to even get anywhere close. Now, I did save a lot of time by stopping from picking them up and just letting them drop to the ground because a lot of the times you don't even get a full inventory anyway so you sort of end up not have to worry about it all that much i've pretty much now got about 10 seconds left so after i've done this next inventory that is going to be the full hour and then what we're going to do is go ahead and get it all sorted out sell all the extra cost of goods extra sort of materials that i've outlaid get to a point where i've just got the molten glass left and then we can work out exactly how much money we have made this hour doing this so here we are i have sold everything that we never used we've now got a stack of 9.25 million which means we spent around about 550k and i have a pile of 8894 molten glass here that we can go ahead and sell and see whether that takes us up to that green cash stack. If I stick them in at this price here, 94, they're selling for 94, they sell for 836K, which will take us to that green cash stack. No if you expected because they are such a low price per item. Now I don't expect them to sell, oh, okay, they did sell instantly. I was about to say, I don't expect them to sell instantly, but they have. 
for a little bit more than what I actually thought they would. So that's pretty good. So we started on 9 million... Where is it? We started on 9,798,000 or something it was in total. So pretty much 9.8 mil. As I go ahead and collect these coins here, we have now got a green cash tag, which is 10.1 mil. So that means we made around about 350k in that hour. Now, alongside that 350k we made, we did end up getting around about 30,000 magic XP and around about 60,000 crafting XP as well. Now, with the old school runescape Wikipedia page said you could do about 600 if you were really good. And then if you were amazing, you'd get 1,000. I don't see any way of you doing 1,000 casts. But, I mean, I was only... I think I did around about 350 casts or something like that. That wasn't a million miles away from the 600. But I definitely you could pump those numbers up a little bit more if you didn't go ahead and pick up the glass for the first 15, 20 minutes like I did. But anyway, let's move on to hour 23. So here we are on hour 23, the penultimate hour of the challenge. And we ended hour 22 on just over 10 million, 10.1 mil. And we have invested it into mahogany logs and some room so we can go ahead and cast the plank make spell so i know we did some molten glass whatever it is wherever it is super glass make notice we did some super glass make before now we're doing some plank make and according to the wikipedia if you're auto casting you can do some around about 950 in the hour and if you are manually casting you can do near enough double that i've gone for an easy 1400 so i don't have to sweat too much i should make some decent profit now, just so we can make sure, we are still on the 10,125,073 GP. Total cost of goods is one, just under 1.1 million. So, it'll be interesting to see exactly how much we make. So, let's go ahead, get set up, and I will see you there. You're out of GE, and when we're doing this, you do need to have a cash stack in your inventory. I believe, I don't think it works if it's in your bank. You do have to pay a small fee. It is less than what the sawmill charge, but it's still going to be some money. So we need to see how we're getting on. I don't actually, I haven't actually worked out whether we're going to have a, enough money to be able to do all of these, whether we're going to have to sell halfway through and carry on. We'll have to wait and see on that behalf. So uh, a little bit rubbish on the research for this one, but nonetheless, let's give it a go and see how we get on. Time is at the ready. Ready, steady, go. So all I'm going to go ahead and do is hit cast, and then it is... Like that. Uh, 150 yes, and don't show it. Now, like I said, they will auto cast. I'm gonna manual cast. To be honest, I really don't like that noise. Go ahead. Noise off. Is that turned it off? There you go. Let's turn that noise off. Thank God for that. Absolutely awful noise that. But the way that I've worked it out is if I'm doing 1400 of these, what I should be able to do is I should be able to manually cast one full inventory and then auto cast another inventory after that. That way then I'm sort of semi AFK in it. And then I'm still able to do something else alongside it, but still make a fairly decent amount of money. I mean, that there has taken me a minute to do one inventory. So I do need to pick up the pace ever so slightly. But we should be good to go. So I will see you either at the point where I need to sell or at the end. We'll see how we get on. So here we are. The last inventory now. And we are pretty much coming up to the hour mark. Now, for the most part, what I did along this hour was I actually spent about half to two thirds of the inventory manually clicking like this. And then I would let it auto cast the last or third of them. So sort of like the last eight or so of the inventory. That meant that I was able to do around about 1,400 
over the course of an hour, which I don't think is too bad whatsoever. If you manually clicked, to click them all, you could definitely do a lot more. I say a lot more. You could definitely do more. Probably around about a 16, 1700 mark without absolutely sweating one out. But you definitely could do a little bit more. So we go ahead and get them all out. And let's have a look at how much money we have actually made and then how quickly they will sell. Now, I did end up we're using around about 1.4 million because it was 1,050. So essentially what you need to be to do to be able to cast plank make is you need some astral runes, you need nature runes, you need earth runes, and then the money for the for, for the exchange essentially. Now it is a little bit less, I think it's 30% less or something like that than the sawmills. So to do mahoganies, it was 1,050 per one, which meant we were using just over 1.4 million in cash. Now now the mahogany logs were worth around about 1.1 mil and then it was 1.47 mil for the exchange which means essentially total uh costs of goods for mahogany logs runes etc was 2,570,000 so if we go ahead and stick these into the price checker we can see they're worth around about a 3.2 mil mark which means we have made roughly 600k across the last hour which a little bit over 600k um which really isn't that bad considering you're also getting 120 to 130k magic xp if you were auto casting you'd probably get around about a 90k mark but the fact that i was manually casting as well as auto casting getting around about 120 130k you could definitely push that up and get a little bit more like i said if you could do a few more of these but 1400 across the hour potentially 600k profit i'm 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 pretty happy with that to be fair and i'm definitely gonna be doing this myself for the logs or the planks that i need to get my construction up so just to sort of see we started on 10 million 125,000. we had all the coins and all the planks in we are sitting at 10 million 746,000. so like i said just over 600k profit there across that hour so stick with the GE and let's see how quick they sell. Now, the sale price says, says 2277. As if we trade it is 2250. I am going to stick them in at 2277 to see how quickly they sell and if they do sell. Don't seem to be selling for 2277. So I am going to abort that offer. I'm going to collect these again and then go ahead and stick them in at 2250. A little bit less than what we say, what we sort of saw, but still decent money nonetheless. So stick with the 2250 and then wait until they sell. So we are here to collect the money from the planks. Got a cash stack left over than what we had, 7.5 mil. Let's go ahead and collect the money. Oh, 3.1 mil. In fact, let's have a quick look. Did they sell for exactly what we wanted? We were selling them for 3150. And got 3119, which is bang on what we got. Lovely jubbly. So if we collect that, we started the hour on 10,125,000. We ended it on 10,678. So minus attacks, that was a 550k profit across that hour. So let's get set up. Let's do the last one and get this 24 hours of money making over and done with. As you can see, 24 hours, we have managed to make enough for a bond. Let's see what bond prices are nowadays. Probably gone up ridiculous. Okay close to the price of a bond i'm pretty sure when i started the series they were about um, two mil cheaper but let's get ready let's get this last one done and let's get this deal this deal let's get this series over and done with one hour later so here we are on the lunar isle for the last hour in our money making series 24 hours of 24 different money makers we're coming into the last hour on 10.6 million and it'd be really nice to get up to that 11 mil mark which is pretty much the price of a bond now so we're gonna go ahead and make some teleport tabs using some lunar isles now there are quite a few different teleports we could be doing and some of the better ones are things like fishing guild now they sell around about 50,000 times a day which is an incredible amount but the profit isn't great I'm going to be doing the water birth ones. They sell around about 10,000 times a day. And you're looking at around about 750 GP profit per one, which is about 200 
or so more than the fishing guilds. I think the Arania ones, wherever that is. Arania or Moon Clan. It's either Arania or Moon Clan. One of those two is the better one, but they don't really sell that often. So they they sell about six, seven thousand times a day. So you're definitely going to sell them. But I'm I'm going for something which I know people are going to be using. People are going to be using it for snake grass spawns, and they're going to be using it for DKs and stuff like that. So let's get all set up. I have bought. Basically, 1,400 lore runes, or 1,400 casts of it, so that I can make 1,400 teleport tabs. And basically, what you need to do is you need to run over to the altar over here. So let's get set up, and let's get going. I've got the arrow timer ready. Ready, steady, go. So what we do is, we're going to make sure, first of all, I speak to that bird's eye jack, because I don't have my little token seal thing, so I will get kicked out. But you need to head on over to this building here. And then the lectern is there. So study the lectern. And then go ahead and choose all on water. Create. And it should make one around about every two seconds. So you're looking at around about a minute per inventory, which works out around about 15, 1600 per hour. So I've allowed for a little bit of running. I've gone for around about a 1400 mark. Now you could manually cast it potentially but i don't know how much time you would actually save so i'm gonna stick with this and i will see you at the end of the hour this here is pretty much going to be the last inventory we haven't quite made the 13 1400 that i thought we'd make i calculated about 1500 based on time to take to do it minus 100 for running but actually there's a little bit more running than i thought about and these definitely take a little bit longer than i considered because it was actually 1.2 seconds per two ticks, so 2.4 seconds per one, which meant it's going to be a little bit over a minute per inventory. But we're going to end up making around about an 1100 mark, which is still going to be a pretty decent turnout. We're looking at around about 74k XP per hour. When you have each cast is 71 XP, so you're looking at, like I said, around about 74k P, uh, K XP per hour, which is actually pretty, pretty nice, considering you are going to be making that little bit of money as well. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to get this last batch done, this last inventory. We're going to head on over to the G and we're going to work out exactly how much we've made in 24 hours doing 24 different money makers. And then after that, we're going to find our lucky winner of the giveaway. Could that be you? Well, obviously, I think you'd know by now. If that was you, because you'd have the money already before this video comes. But there we have it. We are here at the G and we started on 10 point, just shy of 10.7 million. And without, in fact, I tell you what, it's, it's empty all of that. We, we are going to have to sell them back. But without the soft clay that we've got left, we are looking at a profit of around about 700k, which is really, really good. So the actually trading price is 1140. It says 1187, so I'm going to take them up for 1140. Oh. Get it all sold. Wait till they sell. Come back and collect all of that. And see how much lovely money we have made. So here we are. At the end of the video. And the end of the 24 hour money making series. We are about to collect our remaining money. that Well, remaining money from the items that are sold. And probably one of the prettiest places in the whole of old school runescape another none other than priftus priftus however you say it so after the last hour we had just over 10 mil and now we need to go ahead and collect the money from the old school runescape grand exchange so we managed to sell some of the astral runes back we sold some Lorins back. We sold some soft clay back. And then the water birth teleports did sell. So where we ended our 23 on 10 point, roughly 10.7 mil. We are now sitting on a stack of 11,409,461. So that is roughly 700k an hour making teleport root tabs. The water birth island ones. It's been a very long 24 hours, as in it has taken a good couple of months. 
but now we should be cutting to the point where I am giving away 50% of the money made, so five and a half, six and a half, but five and a bit mil, 5.7 mil or something like that. Am I right? Yeah, uh, 5.7. So hopefully we can get this in before the end of the video. Meeting Rajid as part of the 24 hour money making series giveaway. He has won it. And what he wins is half of the cash stack, which is 5.7 mil. I'm also going to give him 100 prayer potions, 50 sarabrus, and a whip. So that basically, I want him to start grinding away and getting himself up there. That's what it's all about. Giving back to the community. I know it's not an awful lot, but it is to somebody that could be a decent amount. there we have it it has been given away thank you for watching i hope you have liked the video like the series if you have hit the like hit the subscribe or the love all the support is greatly greatly appreciated and i'll see you in the next one adios